Hey guys, this is Ketan again and now uh, we are solving another problem from beginner level of Codechef. As we do, we are starting from the bottom. We already completed these two problems, ATM and enormous input test. So if you want to see those problems, you can check out the playlist in our channel. The problem that we are going to solve now is add two numbers. Let's get going. So add two numbers and problem code is F L O W double zero one. All right. Let's see the problem statement. So Shivam is the youngest programmer in the world. He is just 12 years old. Shivam is learning programming and today he is writing his first program. Program is very simple. Given two integers a and b, write a program to add these two numbers. The first line contains an integer t. Okay, so the problem is like it couldn't get any simpler than this. So this is a uh, classic beginner level problem. We just need to take two integers and add them. It's as simple as that. All right. Uh, so input we have test cases here. So yeah, we will be having test cases and then each test case will have a and b, which we have to add and the outputs will be. Uh, as many uh, outputs as uh, there are test cases. In this case, there are three test cases. So 1 into 1 plus 2, 3, 100 into 100, 100 plus 200, 300, 10 and 40, 10 plus 40, 50. Right, guys? So this is very, very straightforward. So without any uh, without any pause, let's just get started with coding. It shouldn't take more than like two minutes or something. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Let's reload this the whole page okay so let's just clear this and then get started so we are taking test cases Let, let's assume there's a t which is an integer obviously it cannot be anything else and then for i in range of t so we just we put a loop over here which is iterating t number of times so that we can get through each test case and then here there are two values that have to be read from the input so we know what we do uh, when there are multiple values which have to be read in a single line we use map function obviously so let's just say a and b equal to map of so these are these could be floats uh, so okay, uh, so he specifically mentioned that they are integers in the input. He didn't say numbers. He he said integers. So we don't need to uh, take them as floats. We can just take them as ints. So use the uh, let's use the int function, and then input dot split. So we got the a and b over here. So the answer is obviously a and b. Answer equal to a plus b. And then let's just print the answer over here whenever the test case is being followed and that's it okay guys so some of you might be having a doubt that why are we printing it right away wouldn't that cause any problems with the output uh, you know output uh, presentation so here we are only outputting the numbers so there won't be any problem if you have anything else that you have to output then it might be a problem because they, they won't uh, come in this format in this case it's fine but if you have anything else to print other than just these three let's say uh, he also asked along with this print all these and also print the highest uh, sum then it would be different right because we have to print the sum also and then uh, the format might change so just be conscious and just use some common sense when you're dealing with other kinds of problems that you you don't use this method you know in some problems you might have to store the each individual answer into a list or something so that you can print it out at the end along with something else okay guys so use some common sense when you are dealing with the output formats in other problems but here it's just as simple as this it's very easy and we don't need to worry about anything else over here so we are just taking the numbers and then adding them and printing them it's as straightforward as that okay guys so we are iterating over t number of times we get each number and then we add them and do it let's just do custom input because i think this is good enough to test it 
let's just run it I sometimes think why does it take so much time to you know do these small things like run and compile compile should be fine it should it could take longer time I could wait but run that's I think that should be done faster man okay so we got 3 350 which is correct obviously so let's just go ahead and go ahead and submit it All right, so we got the correct answer and we did it in 0 0.01 seconds and the time limit is one second. So that's pretty good. That's fine. Okay, guys, so that's how you do this problem. It is very straightforward. I wouldn't even do a video on these kind of simple problems, but just to make the playlist, you know, a complete, uh, complete thing covering every problem. That's why I'm doing this. Okay, guys, thanks. If you have any comments you have any feedback please leave it in the comments and like share and subscribe